Good morning, everyone. Uh, I just wanted to make a quick video here um, because I've been finding myself using this tool a lot, and I think it's a tool that everybody should have. It's a tool that could save you a bunch of money. And of course, I'm talking about a multimeter or voltameter. Um, you know, people call it different things, but essentially, it helps you diagnose power um, if something's getting power. So, I had a co worker um, come into work late, and she was late because her car wouldn't start. Um, turns out it was just her battery, so this will help you diagnose that. You just go ahead and put it on volts, DC volts, because batteries are DC volt. Um, and then, I don't know why, the, you know, some people would say, get a more expensive one. I say most people probably just need your regular cheapo multimeter. You don't need like a fluke or anything like that. Those are really expensive, and I think they're overkill for most people. But I do believe most people do need a multimeter. So this will help you diagnose if your battery is good or not. You know, you got a positive and a negative. You just hook those up. Oh. So you can see it's 12.6 volts right there. So, you know it's working, um, you know that the battery is good. Uh, another thing I've been using this on, um, a, lot of, uh, a lot of my hardware around the house has been, it's older, so it's been going out and stuff, so like, our dryer went out, and you know, my wife was all like, well let's just go buy a new one, and all that was broken was this little $6 fuse. It's a thermal fuse, uh, and it prevented our dryer from uh, heating up anything so you know to test this out you have to take you know part of the dryer off just the back part and expose this and you take it out and all you got to do is put this in continuity or really it's called the ohm it's like a little ohm symbol and it, it has an open loop right there and what that means is that it's not connected so you'll see if I put these together there's numbers that just means that that is not an open loop, they're connected, right? That's an open loop because nothing's connected. So if this is broken, it will just keep showing an open loop when you connect both of these. Now let's go ahead and send, set it down. And as you can see, there's a number showing. That means that this is good. So if this doesn't show a number when you connect both leads, uh, that means that it's it's bad. It's it's burnt out, and you could do that with any fuse. So your car has a bunch of fuses. Um, you know, a lot of things in your house has fuses. Like I said, I just think that a multimeter is very important for diagnosing anything in your household, uh, as well as if you're working around the house and you need to turn off power for anything. Um, you know, and you need to make sure the power's off. You can always use this little clamp thing so this clamp thing is like let's just say you have a power cord going somewhere and um, you know you want to check if that power cord is receiving power or not you just put that power cord through that lamp or that uh, that loop and it should start beeping and once it starts beeping you know that there's power going through and if it's not beeping that means there's no power going through so you know where the problem lies this can help you diagnose all sorts of problems that you're having um, I do think it's an important tool for anyone to have. Um, you know, a lot of people would say, oh, you know, get, get a more expensive multimeter, you know, spend more, uh, get like a fluke or something that will, you know, give you better measurements and accurate, more accurate. But I think most people will end up just using the continuity or checking their volts. I don't think most people would end up using most of these settings at all. Um, I think a simple one like this, a $20 multimeter is more than sufficient for most people. I'm going to be going into I and E, so, uh, which is instrumentation and electrical. So I'll probably need something more powerful than this at some point, but I think a simple one like this, $20 at, uh, at Walmart will be more than sufficient for most people. But I think if you own a car or anything electrical, <laughs> you probably need one of these at some point. It's easier to get one of these than pay somebody to come in and diagnose something that you could have done in two seconds. 
by just putting this on and seeing if it gets power you know um, that's just me I know that not everyone thinks that way but um, like I said it would have saved my coworker a lot of time and money if she just it would have probably saved her like $75 in the diagnostic fee if she just had one of these um, and she could have told hey it's my battery I just need to go get a new battery instead of drop it off and be without a car all day get uh, uber or whatever however she got to work I'm not too sure but uh, yeah check it out guys like I said 20 bucks at Walmart you can get one of these and it will help you diagnose any problem you're having with electrical items anyways have a good day